I thought spirituality was all about turning up to church, doing all the right things, worshipping, singing the right notes, um, reading the Bible. Devotion time was about reading the Bible and prayer. To say that you're kind of spiritually mature because you have all this knowledge and the things that you think you understand, but then emotionally you're not able to, um, you know, you overreact or you react in ways that aren't healthy. One isn't balanced with the other one, so there's something amiss there. I felt like it gave me a really good structure for looking at my emotional health and making me think about things that I wouldn't normally think of, but it has actually been really helpful to think about. So I think it's helped me to kind of pick up on some of my, my blind spots and things, and that's, that's really helped me. It's reignited things that I know I should do, that I perhaps didn't do as well as I should have done, so disciplines, things like spending time in quiet and just listening to God have been a massive thing for me. I'm such a talker, I always very much pray to God, but just to sit there and to be quiet and keep training my mind to come back, because at first you start to daydream, just like, no, bringing it back to God, just sitting, focusing on God, focusing on you, Jesus, focusing on you in this moment. How God just dropped things into my spirit was just beautiful and refreshing and, and again, life-changing. The idea of spending shorter periods of time with God throughout the day is probably something that I've found helpful and I've, I've continued doing. So it's, it's obviously good to have a, a quiet time or extended quiet time, but it also takes the pressure off if I can't do that in one big chunk that I can just check in with him throughout the day. Emotionally healthy will definitely make you think, it will challenge you, but I think if you go through the process and you put the things in place, then you can become a more uh, mature, spiritually mature and emotionally mature person and I think that will can affect all areas of your relationships. I know it's not easy to talk about these things. I know it can be difficult when you think and maybe you've looked on the website and seen what the topics are but actually the value of it far outweighs the difficulty of it. There's a week called The Wall um, and it sounds quite intimidating and it sounds like that, that you know, you, next week will be the wall, but it's looking at it from a positive of going, okay, well, this is something that I'm working on and actually there is a way through. I think we should all maintain the, um, the posture to learn. I think that's really important and we can all learn something new. We're all doing it together. We've all got things that we need to learn and we need to grow in. I know I certainly have. I would encourage you to do it so that you can bring God at a greater level into every aspect of your life um, because it blesses you, it blesses others that are around you. Um, so definitely sign up.